Hey guys, welcome back to Kenya Fan TV. It's out of the ordinary, we're back in today with the big news, massive news. Hillary, the smile on your face gives us a little bit of a clue. Ten Hag sacks for Man United. Wow! After after the discussion we had last night, this is this is big news for you guys. You know, if you're someone who you know prays a lot, especially for a whole year. Your prayers are bound to be answered at least at some point. <laughs> it's been a long, long time coming. Wow. Well, it took a while to get there. That's that's a surprising thing about it. It took them a while. It took that that West Ham finally set them over the fence there. And but anyway, Van Destroy, interim manager. Uh I saw what you said earlier on in the message when you put it in the group for the like it's gonna be a bounce back, <laughs> bounce back results. Oh yeah, I my thought process when the season started was Ineos knew at some point they were going to fire Tenner, and that's why they brought in Vanister. I don't think they brought in Vanister just to be an assistant manager, but to be the interim manager. I think that was what they were preparing for when the season was starting. Steve, what's your thoughts on this, man? Now now my United might actually go out and get a proper manager. Yeah, I think I think yeah, Abdi is uh, it's it's been long coming. <laughs> the the wait, I think now this is this is that that moment where Manchester United fans are saying the long wait is finally over because you remember we had this discussion yesterday of what is missing in the team because they have quality players because we cannot blame it really on the quality of players that they have. It's just the quality of the game that is that that, that narrows down to. The manager because if you have quality players and your and your way of play is shitty so i think it's it all narrows down to to the coach so because we we i can't personally really see anything that has been i can call like an attitude from the manchester united players i think they've been trying their best the mood is quite is quite difficult to tell but for the quality of players they have with them with that little blend of the young like the young players like Zixe, I think it it was just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. It was just hanging on a thread, and uh, we, we, you could forecast this because I think it was Manchester United uh, fans were tired of the the, the hashtags of suck Greg and hug because it was all about he he, he gives them the the little trophies and the little uh, uh, step step back into the game. But it was just all a matter of uh, it was just a matter of time, and uh, time has caught up with him. Uh, it's just uh, bad because you can see in his in his career. If I can look at that quickly, eighty five matches, forty four wins. That is basically a past. That is slightly past uh, half of the the matches that is in, yeah. in his career with Manchester United. So eighty five matches, forty four wins, slightly past half losses, fourteen. And uh, winning percentage of 52%. So slightly above average, I'll still say, of which we say Manchester is not, uh, <laughs> is, is not a middle table team because when you, see, when you look at your winning probability being 52% and points per match is 1.72, then I think it narrows down to say you're just a middle, middle, uh, middle table team because your performance is middle, is, is, is at 50%. So you, you just have also the... The, the middle aged performance. So I think it's just a matter of time. Uh, the big question what way forward? Because I don't think Venistro is going to cut it. The big question will be here we are, where where to next? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's another thing, isn't it? I mean, uh, the logic behind the second doesn't quite make that much sense. I mean, it was just like a couple of weeks ago they gave him the nod, you know, the, the board trusted him on it. So you would think. They probably thought, okay, let's give him at least another six months, see where it goes. It's not like they're going to compete for the title. But now, now you have Van Nistelrooy in there. Again, interim manager, a club like Man United, is he going to sit there like until they sign someone now? Or do you think he's going to be the end of the season here? Um, I don't think they're in any pressure at the moment with the amount of international breaks we have until December. Mm. So I'm sure... Because of the way the matches are being fixed, we have a couple of is it one or two international breaks, so maybe during December is when they can maybe bring in another manager, while they try to steady the ship a bit. So right now, Vanister is not in under that much pressure, 
and the board has until December to see whether they're going to stick with Vanistro until the end of the season or bring in maybe... I'm thinking right now in the market, you only have a Xavi or a Thomas Tuchel. And you know the allegation. No, no, Thomas Tuchel, Tuchel, Tuchel is gone. Tuchel, 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 Tuchel is gone. Happy. Tuchel is gone. <laughs> you know, Tuchel is gone. Nagelsmann, Nagelsmann. I don't know why I'm, co I'm confusing. Ah, he's gone. Nagelsmann. He's gone. So yeah. it was Nagelsmann. Nagelsmann at Germany and um, what's his name? Xavi. Especially yeah. after Xavi was with the kid wearing a Manchester United t-shirt and then everyone in social media started putting that um, rumor around that hey, Xavi might actually be in for the job because... It's not like he left Barcelona because of poor mm. performance, but because of, you know, it's up with the board. But do you think... So let me ask those you this are here, the two think, strong... Kind of... let, me, let me ask you this, sorry to cut you off, but do you think any any top manager now who yeah. wants a Man United job, I mean, would it be... Does it make sense to them to be like, okay, I, I don't... If I want to come to the club, I don't want to come now. I'm going to come end of the season. I don't want to start coming now and then play with these crappy players who are performing yeah. crap. And kind of destroy whatever you want to start doing. So you want to be like, let me come mm. next season, transfer window. Let me bring in people I want. Get rid of you know dead weight that I don't want to be managing because no manager is going to come now and just start creating miracles with this squad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Vanistra might be given that interim yeah. opportunity until maybe December or end of the season. But then someone I'm looking at, I've been looking at for a while, has been in Zagi at uh, in Sami oh, Okay. So I'm thinking that maybe the maybe Ineos might be looking at what Inzaghi does at Inter Milan because it's actually been good. Inter have been playing well under him and he's one of the top managers right now around and he might he might go for that position whereby he can take um, you know the dream every manager's dream is to find a team that they can take to the next level. You saw Klopp with Liverpool, and now someone might think, you know, with this United job, if I'm the manager to hack it, then imagine what that would look like in my resume. So I think that's the only silver lining for a manager right now is mm -hmm. if I take the job and pull it off, I might be the one who finally succeeded Ferguson. Yeah, okay. Okay, then just before we go to Steve, yeah. um, the other thing I, I would like to say that my United can also be in the danger of will be getting Van Nistro to be the interim manager, getting that bounce back results you know you could just turn things around you know just on the hype and then you know do that social thing again and then they might be persuaded to probably give him the job next season and there's also that risk of United making that that silly mistake again yeah yeah I, I think Abdi one thing one thing that uh one thing that uh, puts the next manager the, 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 the next man on the job uh to to, to be in, in on a on a, on a light stand mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the fact that is the fact that where Manchester United are at the moment. So I believe uh, for uh, for Ruud Van Nistelrooy, for him as an interim manager because he's just stepping in. For him, there is no pressure. I don't think he's gonna be uh, is, unless he unless he exerts pressure on himself because he he might be eyeing the job because if he gives a performance that is outstanding, yeah. uh, he might give grounds of not being sacked, but being hired as the main man. So it's just up to him now to either control, to maintain, to, to control the damage that is, is already made in the team or to pick them up from one place to another to whereby he can either build himself as a manager in, in, in future so that maybe mm. somebody out there might be saying if he, man, he, man, he managed Manchester United at their, at, their worst, at their worst time, then he can manage. Uh, so it's about... It's it's all about uh, him as a him as a, as a as a as a former player and as a yeah. interim manager. What does he want? Does he want to 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 be like someone who's eyeing the job, or is he just trying to control the damage that has already been made? So, uh, and 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 also for a manager who's coming to Manchester United, I think for one, I know Manchester will go for a quality player, the likes of uh, the jobless uh, managers out there. We've, we've mentioned uh, the likes of uh, uh, Alonso. So. I think it's it's a matter of Manchester are in a bad place, so there is no pressure for for yeah. anyone coming in. It's just a matter of someone coming in, removing Manchester from the from the from the from the hole, yeah. the, the the muddy hole, the, the muddy pit hole they are in, to a, a, a better ground. Okay. Oh, well, like you said, there we have it. It was it was a quick call we had to do today. Uh, yeah. That's going to send send shockwaves. 
uh, Hillary, there's going to be a lot of CVs being sent to Old Trafford now. <laughs> a lot of a lot of guys, maybe not every big name, but there's going to be a lot of guys going to come after this job anyway. Mm -hmm. That's what that's that's what everyone's going to wait for. But hopefully, you get improving yourself, and we get everything done. All right, guys, thanks for the quick call today. Appreciate, it. guys. Please remember to subscribe. You're making this channel grow. All right, guys, have a good one. Yeah. All right. All right.